In the previous product finding videos, we learned about the six criteria for finding a good product to sell. We also learned about how to find successful Shopify dropshipping stores. And we learned about the best dropshipping suppliers to work with to ship out our items really quick and have excellent, superb customer service along the way. Now, this video is going to be an exciting one. How to find the best and most profitable dropshipping products to sell on our stores that are trending today, products that don't have a lot of competition and have a high profit margin. One way to find dropshipping products is by seeing what's working well for other people with Shopify dropshipping stores. I showed you one example a couple of lessons ago and now I'll show you more. And another way to conduct product research is simply by seeing what's going well on the market without researching specific Shopify dropshipping stores. And with that, you'll get the best trending products that are selling today. So let's begin. Remember how I mentioned a couple of lessons ago that there are a few methods to find Shopify dropshipping stores. Some of those methods include using Facebook ads, using a site called myip.ms to search Shopify dropshipping websites. Let's use that Facebook ads example and try to find something through there. Now, one way to do it is using that extension called my ad finder or by manually searching Facebook for ads. If you guys don't recall any of this, I highly suggest to restart the product research videos because you guys need to understand the first part in order to move on to this one. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to manually search Facebook for free shipping, which is one of the texts that I told you guys that you will find ads through this manual search. So let's go with this one free shipping when you shop now, it got 1.9 million views, it looks very viral. So what we're seeing here is a pooper scooper for your pets for your dogs. And if we click on see more, you can see the product description that he wrote for this product. And here you can see that it's a very viral post. It has about 9,500 likes and five and a half thousand comments. If we click on that, we can see just how viral it is. And if it's still trending in the last few days, we don't want to go for a product that was popular six months ago or one year ago. We want a product that's popular now. So one way to do it is to check the engagement in the post itself. So I click to see the comments and instead of seeing the most relevant comments, I want to see the newest comments. This way I'll see if this product is still trending today. And as we can see, I'm going to click on view more comments. We have comments one day ago, six days ago, one week ago. So this product is still trending. This guy is probably selling this product. So let's move on to the next step. We'll click on his website and here's the pooper scooper website. Now there are a couple of ways to see where he's getting these products from, if they're selling and what other websites are selling this very product to check out the competition. You've probably already guessed it, but one method is using that Koala Inspector extension that I showed you guys a couple of lessons ago. So just open up the extension, click on find retailers, and you'll get a list of other websites that are selling this product. But as you can see, it's only Shopify website, so you can check the competition, but it didn't give me the information that I was looking for on where this guy is sourcing his product from. So using Koala Inspector is one tool, but the other tool that I want to talk to you guys about is using a reverse image search. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm teaching you guys how to conduct product research and spy on stores and do all these things using techniques that don't cost you guys any money at all. I know that it's really tough to start everything is on a budget. I'm giving you guys the best tools absolutely for free because I want to show you guys that anybody can do this. All you need is the willingness to learn a computer and a Wi-Fi connection. You can have successful Shopify stores generating sales and profit without spending a dime on your product research. You can use paid tools to research the market, but I'm showing you guys that it's still possible without spending a dime and you can still have successful stores that generate sales and profit. Once you start generating sales and profit, start putting in your budget on other things, on better marketing and paid apps and paid tools. But first, learn to succeed on a budget. After that, you'll be able to do pretty much anything you want. So moving back, reverse image search. All you have to do is right click on the image and click on search Google for image. Now Google will show you all of the websites that have this picture in them. So as you can see, we have Facebook. That's probably where we saw the post. You have the CodaScooper.com website, which is where we were at, CodaScooper. We got Best Friend Brand, which is probably one of the competitors. Let's go to the next page. Organics Pets, another competitor. The Coda Scooper is also putting it on Pinterest. So, so far I found competitors, but I couldn't find the source. 
this is why you need to know about multiple techniques in order to get the answers that you guys are looking for. So we easily found way more competitors than the koala inspector showed me, but I still want to know the source. So another way to do it is simply by going into Amazon because it's one of the biggest retailers in the world. Here we're going to just make a basic search for pooper scooper even though that's not what they called it. Well, these this competitor called it Pooper Scooper, but this guy is calling it Coda Scooper. So the main search term for this product is Pooper Scooper. So once I search for it, you see these products. It's not related to the one that we just saw, but we're just gonna keep scrolling until we find the item or something that's related to it. So let's just go to the next page. And here we go. Look at this portable Pooper Scooper. Now let's look at this product and look at the original product. You guys agree with me that it's the same product, just probably in different colors. And if you scroll down and look at similar products, you can probably even find this product in a cheaper version. Check out this one, $14.66, and it's got cooler colors. So you can find the item very, very easily by creating a reverse image search and seeing the competition and maybe even finding the source or by simply searching Amazon or other suppliers that I talked to you guys about earlier. You can try Banggood or Etsy or Walmart. And once you find the product, you can see how much profit these guys are making. So if we're buying it for $14.66, this guy is selling it for 109. This guy doesn't have a currency converter, which is not user friendly, but I'm just gonna convert this for you guys. 109.75 divided by 3.4. So this guy's selling it for roughly $32 and you can buy it for less than half that price. That's how much profit he's making. He's making about $15, 16 or 17 bucks a pop, which makes this a profitable product. And in order to see if this guy is selling the product, all you have to do is use that Koala Inspector, as you know, open up the inspector, see best sellers. And as you can see, here's the variation. He is selling it and it's a one product store. He's not selling anything else. So we used Facebook ads. We found a viral ad that's still relevant that has comments within the past few days. We went inside this guy's website and we can see that he's still selling it. We were able to see that there's other competitors, but not too much. So there is enough room to put this product on our shops and sell it. And we were able to find his source where he's buying the product from and how much he's paying for it. It's a rough estimate. It's different colors, but it's the same product. And I always advise to never copy and paste any one of your competitors, not the pictures, not the titles, not the descriptions. Everything needs to be your own. So it's a good thing that we found different colors and different variations for this product. So we talked about using the reverse image search. We talked about using the Koala Inspector. Both of them can show you the sources and the competition for the products that you are looking at. Now I want to talk about another method of finding good products that are trending now. You will find a lot of best sellers this way and this method doesn't have to do with spying on other people's stores. This method is called going to Amazon's movers and shakers. What is Amazon's movers and shakers you ask? Let me show you. Go to Google, search for Amazon movers and shakers and here we go. Amazon calls this the biggest gainers in sales rank over the past 24 hours updated hourly. So there's nothing more trending than this. There's nothing more updated than this. Every hour they're refreshing with the most trending products. So you can catch the waves way before anyone else. There are many categories to look at. You guys need to know which products you should sell and which products are not meant for drop shipping. For example, Amazon devices and accessories, you probably can sell them, but it's better to not. It has Amazon all over it. Arts, crafts and sewing is a great category for drop shipping baby products but just be careful with the choking hazard cell phones and accessories you can find some impulsive products over there in clothing there's a whole bunch of products that you can also find for drop shipping but there's the whole dimensions and the sizes which can get confusing so you shouldn't start with the clothing you can try groceries some drop shippers are doing it but i want to take you guys to the best and most trending categories in home and kitchen you're gonna find a lot kitchen and dining is also great home and garden all of these categories patio lawn and garden, pet supplies is great, sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement. These are the best categories for drop shipping. You can always find impulsive items over there. Let's just click on any of them, patio lawn and garden. And here's the number one movers and shakers in patio lawn and garden. 
We're not gonna go into politics when we're drop shipping, so stay out of politics. We're not gonna sell products that cost between $200 to $750. So just start scrolling and see what products are trending in the last hour. And using that, you can do a reverse image search to see the competition, how many people are selling this product, and if there's enough room for you to enter. If there's over 10 pages of sellers on Google, forget about it. But if it's just a couple of pages, then there's more than enough room for you to get inside and gain some profits from that product. For example, let's check out this Guardians of the Galaxy pod. I've been seeing this all throughout this year. Let's right click on that one and search Google for the image. This product, by the way, is saturated, but it was just one example that I wanted to show you guys. Check out these grow lights for these plants. This looks unique. I haven't seen this product before. Let's see what else we can find. Inflatables are also going really well right now because it's Q4 and it's the holiday season. And by the way, we have blogs for the best products that you need to sell in every occasion, including Christmas. I also spoke about inflatables in that blog, just so you guys know. So there's a lot of potential that I'm seeing over here. And so use Amazon movers and shakers to find products, not from people's Shopify dropshipping stores in a different method to see what's trending in the past hour and in the past 24 hours, find the competition, see where there's not a lot of competition and get those products to your store. Now, those are the methods that I wanna talk about, but now you guys have a very important assignment. Remember how a few lessons ago, I told you to download a product research spreadsheet. Now you're gonna have to use it. Your assignment before heading on to the next lesson, and this one is gonna take you guys some time, which is a good thing because you guys need to understand that product research needs to take you time. The more you work on it, the more secret gems you're gonna find. If you think 10 minutes of work are going to find you your next bestseller, you're completely wrong, just like most other dropshippers. Now let's take it to the next level, put in some real work, and then you'll see some real results. So your assignment before heading on to the next lesson is to open that product research spreadsheet. Here we go. Now, what I want you guys to do is to only fill in two columns for now. Those two columns are the product column and the source column. What you need to do now is to start researching the market using the tools that I provided you in this lesson and in the past couple of lessons to find Shopify dropshipping stores, see what's selling inside those stores using Koala Inspector, use Amazon movers and shakers to find more trending products, use the reverse image search to see more competition and sources that are selling those products to see that there is enough profit for you guys to get inside and that there is not a huge fierce competition for that product. So what I want you guys to do now is simply fill in the product and the source. Let's do the example of the product that we just saw. Here it is, the Pooper Scooper. So this is a good product with not a lot of competition and the profit margin is at least 50% if not more. So let's add this product. All you have to do is simply take the product's name. I'm not gonna use this name because it's the name of the seller. Portable Pooper Scooper with bag. Copy that name into the product. And in the source, simply fill in the URL, copy the URL, paste it inside the source. So that's how you fill in one product for now. We're not gonna touch the rest of the columns. That's gonna be in the next video. Your assignment is to fill in 25 rows of products with the product's name and the product's link. Product name, product link, 25 times using all of the methods that we talked about. So that's all regarding product research for this video. In the next video, we're still going to learn a few more things about product research. And with that, we're going to sum it up. We still have so much more things to do. We need to create our stores. We need to market our stores. We need to get our first sales. So 25 products, work hard on them. See you in the next video.